you're a runner and welcome to FMTT. I hope you're all doing well, surviving the heat wave. It's got a bit of a lunch break, so I'm managing to record something. Where are we? Well, we're at the start of the season. So, start of our first season in the Championship, but hopefully our only season, because we'll be promoted. Got players to show you, got tactics to show you, got the very first match of the season to show you as well, which is actually a cup match. Uh, so, tactics wise, this is where we're at. So if you watched the last video <coughs> where I showed you the um, setup from the FM12 uh, save I used to play, the network save I used to play with my brother, um, we have this kind of shape, this 4312 uh, narrow, and I've kind of reimagined it a little bit, um, a couple of remakes at it, so reasonably few instructions, everyone's on get stuck in there, full backs on support, no nonsense centre backs, Mazalas to try and use this space here, um, advanced playmaker, deep line playmaker, I don't know if both will work, but this one's on defence, so maybe that will, that will work, and a pressing forward and a target man on attack, so that's what we've gone with. We've also got some backup tactics, so we've got um, play to your strengths, which is the one I made towards the end of last season to try and deal some of the issues. I might just get rid of this one because it didn't work. And then we've got Hair Lips Basic uh, Bitches one, which is from the Locomotive Leipzig uh, save I've been playing, which you can follow on my blog if you want to. So you've got backups if you need to. But this is our primary tactic, which I probably should have set as primary, which I've not. Um, and we've got new players to fit into this. So let's have a look at what's happened transfer wise so who have we got in who's left so in terms of who's left uh rodney togabai is gone because he wasn't very good killian jacket's gone on free because he was going to go on a free anyway and i don't think he's that good matthew clements has gone uh, because he was on something like 300 400 pounds per week i can't remember but he wasn't worth that so he's gone to the feral cats uh Thibault huber has gone because he never played for us six five but didn't look up to it. And then Fred Tiss that we managed to move as well. And there has been some interest for a couple of our players that could potentially kind of clear our sort of debt. So we're 70 grand in debt. However, it's moved up to maybe 50 grand for a couple of our players, but I've rejected them because I want to keep them. Um, so transfer-wise, who have we brought in? So we've brought in Pufa Perea. Um, in defence, he's on too much money. Really, but he dives into tackles. He's six foot five. He is aggressive. He's reasonably rated. He comes to us from the Sky Brights. He's got Premiership um, experience. We've got Stefan Parmentier, who used to play for AS Chance and played for us at the Feral Cats briefly as well. And again, has got good Premiership performances there. Uh, we've also brought in Francois uh, Moulin, um, six foot one. Moulin, six foot one. On a free, he used to play for the Islanders again. So some Premiership experience, only a little bit, but also he's from AS Chance. So he's got good kind of pedigree in that sense. Uh, and then two youth players we brought in from Mayo. We've kind of raided them. These players, uh, Rafael Kamara, I think looks really good. I think his mental attributes are pretty good. Physical could improve, but reasonable start, good passing, good technique. Um, he could be quite. Quite useful and then Julian Martins who doesn't look quite as good but he's rated really highly as a, a potential kind of star uh, for us so we brought them in plus some of our players from the youth side we've brought through so we've got um, Oliver Rapp whose youth players come through to provide cover there Theo Vidal has come through uh, Christian Tepau is one of the ones that people have been coming in for uh, Benjamin Sabatier uh, could do the job in defence for us. Uh, Bossinot is coming through. Uh, Echeverry and Lefray are also players that have had bids against them. Uh, I've brought through Carton as well. And then up front we've got some options between Bonin, Bonin, Bouton and Benoit. Uh, so BB, B and B. In fact, TB, TB, NB, NB. So there's going to be some confusion there at some point, I think. But yeah, in terms of the quality of the squad, I think we've improved. I don't think 
were amazingly uh, good. Uh, this board have agreed to send us off to get our badges. They have also um, told us are expected to kind of challenge for promotion. I think it is Club Vision. Uh, so we should get the promotion playoffs. That's what we're expecting as a kind of minimum for us. So uh, we need to start well. In terms of how this tactic's done, we play some friendlies. One or two losses. So we lost against, you know, Tetero, but they are top of the tree. They are the Premiership title holders. Lost against Moria, who are a strong side. Ish Chance, who've gone up into the Premiership. But some good results elsewhere, especially here. We start to really kick up a gear. Uh, Manue became our feeder team, or I don't know which way around it is, but they're the senior side, where the junior side, essentially, uh, which is a bit embarrassing. Um, but we got him in. And yeah, I think we're ready to go for the season. Not massively confident, but we'll see how we do. Uh, we're going to be playing against Papita in the Windward Isle Pride Trophy. So this is our regional trophy. Um, and it goes straight into the kind of quarterfinals. There's not that many teams in there. The other quarterfinal going on today is Tiapu, who are still non-league. They've not been promoted up yet against Moria Island. Um, and that, that raises an interesting point. Who got... Promoted into the silver. So Faka Faka Rava Kings or Faka Rava Sports Club um have been promoted to the, the Playable League. So I imagine Tiapu will get promoted next season. Right. Be back in a second just to pick the team. Okay, so as is tradition, cleared the squad and we're gonna see who's gonna be best to fit in here. Front to back. The front to back, back to front even. Um, Xavier Marshall is going to go in and play there. Apparently he's still better than Oliver Rapp. We'll give him a go. He didn't do well last season. Um, in terms of who's good on the right, let's put Vidal in there. I think he's better than Tapao. Tapao? Tipao. Tipao. Uh, on the left, we've got kind a of choice between um, Lekona, who is... Uh, Lekona, sorry. Who is... We on international duty at the Atoll Cup. Um, Hugo Rue maybe doesn't look very much like a left back. With Priya also doesn't look like he's going to do the job there. Steven Sabatier. So I think we might just play Hugo Rue in that one. In the centre, sort of tip out because he's rated highly. And then we've got a choice we've seen Justin Vincent, who's six four, or Stefan Parmentier, six three. Apparently Justin Vincent is better than Stefan Pimentia, so we'll go with him for the second, uh, for the second for the moment. But our second choice is Pimentia. So Mazala on the right. Who are we going to go for here? Now I think it might be easier if I go who can, who's going to be the deep line playmaker. And this apparently is saying Moulin should be deep line playmaker. I was thinking maybe Jonathan Bossonot. Let's play Moulin in there. On the right-hand side, Raphael Camara is not rated that highly, and Julie Martins isn't rated that highly in that role. Saying Noah Renault. Hmm. Carton. That's not rated quite highly as Mazala. I'm not. Not convinced, but let's put um, Carton on there. Let's put Bill Kamara. There's our trust in, I think. Advanced Playmaker. Maybe this is where I should have put Kamara, but uh, we'll put Julian Martins in there. Yeah. No, Kamara. Kamara can go here. And then for Mazala. Renault there. Let's just trust them for the moment. We'll go with this. Target man. We've got Tony Bonin. 5'11", heading 13, jumping 12. Thomas Bonin, 6. No. Nina Benoit. No. And then Nicholas Boutin. Nicholas Boutin is back up for that one. These are backup ones. So Bonin and Boutin will be target men. And pressing forwards. 
Thomas Bonin will do the job. Rap on the bench. Parmentier. Bossina. This is where we've got a bit of an issue. So Echeverry and Laporte are both wingers. So they're not in here. But I think they might work quite well in a Mazzala position because they'll drift out. So well, we won't start with them. We'll put them in. And uh, let's put on Martins. Both of the strikers. Oh, they've got one, one position. I think it was Sabatier on there. Yeah, save that. Just we had some power cuts in the area recently. So we're playing Papite. So Papite in the championship, just like us. They've been relegated, just like us, but a few seasons ago. Let's see how we do against them. It'd be an interesting test. We've had some good friendly results. But this is kind of the ultimate test. Again, this tactic's not completely ironed out. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. So we're in the orange and lighter orange stripes. Oh, Bonin's got through by look. I hate that. I hate those uh, floodlights. I don't really want to get rid of the kind of 3D graphics around the stadium just to get rid of them. Nice if we build a new stadium at some point so we can get rid of them. Okay, it's been a couple of shots apparently, but nothing much has come from this. Interesting ball there. Clearing it out, but not getting very far. Making me a little nervous this bit. Managed to clear it. Just one second. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Just another quick edit. One of many. Our recording times at a premium. I'm not sure what I was saying before. Let's just check where I actually recorded. Here we are. It's going to be an interesting test. Really is. Because I think the team's strong enough. But this, this team here, Pepita, will go on Bonin. Takes it off his toes. Ooh, almost in. Very reminiscent of that camel goal from the FM12 sort of first half that I showed you. Where he just stole it off him. But yeah, their former Premiership side, Bora Bora, are as well. Meow are to its... It's going to be tricky because the standard actually might be quite quite good. And they are expecting the playoff places. But I think we've got enough of a squad. It's just whether we click fast enough, whether tactically. Oh, good finish by Bonin. Good finish indeed. Good long ball. There he is. Still keeping a bit of long ball then. Sorry, I'm texting. Making a request for some fruit from the shops. What stuff? So 1 0. 13 shots to their 4. That looks like we're doing alright there. It's only 1-0, we're not converted much. There wasn't many chances for us to actually look at. We'll stick with this for the moment. Uh, Vidal is looking tired, so we might bring him off in a bit. And Carton we might bring off as well. It's going to be difficult getting the midfield mix right as well. We didn't have a huge amount of players to choose from. We had a lot of players who would have been fantastic, but just didn't want to talk to us. Didn't want to sign terms, didn't want to talk to us, or they wanted something ridiculous. I think there was one player who would have been fantastic for us. He wanted £700 a week, um, which is almost twice like our maximum you can offer us. Bon in. Come along. There was an option there for him. He didn't need to waste it like that. Got a while for the familiarity to be high, though, for this tactic. Move in. Nice. There we go. We don't need Renard from 
Errol Cass, was it Renard? Bernard, who cares? Don't even care. Don't even know who he is anymore. Uh, but Francois Moulin. In it goes. Never had a chance. 2-0. That's a little bit more comfortable. At 68 minutes, we can make some changes now. So let's bring on Bossinot for Renault. Um, what's going on down here? Let's bring on Sabatier for Vidal, because he can play on the right as well. And then let's experiment with Carton coming off for Echeverri, who's the winger. So this is, this is the Mazala on the right-hand side. So the fact he's Mazala's drift out wide should work. On in. He is a predator. He's in that pressing forward role, I think. And then he goes, oh no, that looks like he's... Oh no, there, there he is, yeah, Bonin. Pressing forward, capitalises on the mistake, and then it goes, yeah, carry on, make changes. Moria winning 3-1 against Tia Poo. Interesting times. And we're almost there. Not enough time really to see Echeverry do anything, so that'll be an experiment for another time. A 3-0 against a fellow championship side. Let's have a look and see where they finished last season. Gets into the semi-final of the Winwood Isle trophy as well, which is what uh, they want from us as a minimum, so we're ticking that box. You can still stay, we'll get one grand for making it there. Uh, little and often, prize money. How did Bonin do last season? Three goals at the end of all. Um, Yes, so uh, PT was sixth last season. The season before that was when they got relegated, so okay. Not bad, not a bad start there. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Apologies for the kind of edits between things, but it's needs must at the moment. Um I'm gonna go away and play a few matches. Schedule wise Should I come back for the opener against Puka Puka? It's on TV. I might, I'll do the opener and then we'll have a bit of a, a break. I'll come back when we know a bit more. We might not come back until October, so once we played a good, good chunk. That should do the trick, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Just because I don't want to be in this, the championship too long, and unless it's going to be an interesting season, I don't want to have too many episodes of us toiling in the championship. I'll just come back with the bits where there's a little bit of drama or something interesting going on. Yeah, thanks very much. I'll see you later.